Welcome everyone. So today we are going to understand the value of x in this particular question. We have x minus 3 the whole square equals to 9. Now whenever you have a variable square which is equal to a perfect square or which is equal to any value. But in order to find the value of the variable we will take square roots on both sides. So we had a square taking square root on both sides. Whenever you do a square root situation, especially if it is equal to a variable, only in that case the answer will be having two values. It is plus minus 3 in this case. So I can say x minus 3 equals to 3 or I can say x minus 3 equals to minus 3. In order to find the value of x, we will add 3 on both sides. So here we got the value of x as 6. Similarly, here also we will add 3 on both sides. So, value of x comes out to be 0. Therefore, I can say the value of x equals to either 6 or 0. Let's put it in this question. So, 6 minus 3 equals the whole square becomes 3 square which is 9. Similarly, 0 minus 3 the whole square gets you minus 3 the whole square. Now, square of a negative value also gets you a positive value which is just 9 in this case. So, I hope you have understood that the value of x in this question is supposed to be 6 or 0. I hope this is very very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.